right this week's meal kit is every plate tonight we are trying the sriracha pork stir fry and again just like with the other one it tells you everything like the ingredients that you need the differences with every plate they all came in one big box and so if you did not pre-sort them then you have to find all of these things and for four people it's the second serving so like I got two bags of the jasmine rice if you um you did have the option to switch to either beef or chicken for this recipe I just stuck with the pork and then down here this is all the things from your own kitchen that you'll need so just salt pup salt pepper butter and oil which are things that every kitchen I feel like has and then here is a recipe um six steps this one was very easy very simple um I really liked the ease of this one it said it was going to take 25 minutes. I feel like that was pretty true. Um, I would say, it, you know, the prep time, they count in five minutes. I didn't, I kind of prepped as I went with this one. So I did the rice and then I kind of chopped the veggies and then I got the meat ready and then I got the sauce ready as that was cooking. So I kind of did the prep as I went this time. Um, and I feel like it was about, it took me about 35 to 40 minutes um, so, but I am a slow cooker, literally, like I read the, re I want, you know, since these are new recipes, I'm really taking my time to, um, go through all of the steps. And this is how it turned out. So what I ordered versus what I actually cooked, I am pretty proud of this. Obviously my plating is not the same, but we're gonna give it a taste and see how it compares. Um, overall, this is our second every plate meal. And the first one was, um, or no, the, sorry, this is our third. We made um, Thai peanut noodles. Those were really good. Um, I've gotten Thai peanut noodles at a restaurant before and these were comparable and again pretty simple recipe overall really the hardest part was making sure that the noodles were done and um there was like you had to cut the snap peas and like just they kind of had to cook a little bit and that was but it was pretty easy just a basic saute so all of the steps are very easy then we had Salisbury steaks and that was like the fancy meal of the week those took me it said 45 minutes on the recipe. It took me an hour and about 20 to get them on the table. Um, so making that recipe again, I would probably wait into the potatoes a little bit later until I got like the meat, um, like have the potatoes going while the gravy was cooking because by the time we sat down to eat the potatoes, unfortunately had been sitting too long and they had gotten cold, but that was a meat, that's a meat problem. Um, they tasted fine. The recipe was fine. Um, and the recipe was again, very simple, very simple steps. Um, so this is our third every plate meal and overall the flavors are a lot better. Um, recipes are simple in terms of ease, but I do feel like every plate is a little bit, I don't want to say higher quality cause all the food is similar, but like, I feel like a better chef cooking every plate meals. So, like, I feel like I'm learning new skills. I feel like my um like it's meeting my palate a little bit more um in terms of flavor and the meals themselves have more flavor so we're gonna go ahead and try this sriracha stir fry together um there is sriracha already in the sauce and then you had the choice to serve it with more sauce and then similarly with the lime um so i'm just gonna take the lime wedge out and we're gonna just give it a try. Like I'm gonna pretend that I'm on Food Network or something. And it's a jasmine rice. <laughs> Gotta get that Guy Fieri bite, the big bite that he always talks about. It's very good. I really like this a lot. Um, if you're not a pork person, I would say don't be turned off by this recipe. To me, it has a very similar flavor to like ground turkey um, because it it's just ground up. So you don't it doesn't really taste like a sausage or a pork loin or something like that. Like it kind of just tastes like a ground turkey or a ground meat. It doesn't really have a, a super strong pork flavor. 
the rice, despite like being done for a while, the rice is like the first thing that you cook. It still is very warm, very soft. Um, and the sauce is delicious and it's very simple. Like what's great about these recipes is I can take the recipe card and then use recipe, use ingredients from my own kitchen. So like I have soy sauce and chili sauce in my refrigerator right now. Um, so with like a thing of ground pork and some coleslaw mix, I can recreate this recipe pretty easily. Um, and that's what I love. And that'll make it really easy moving forward when I decide to stop the meal delivery kits. Um, but this one is really good. I'm really, really pleased with it. It did come with some chopped peanuts as well for serving. Um, and the coleslaw is just a typical coleslaw. So it's got green and purple cabbage, carrots. Um, but it is very good. So overall, I've been impressed so far with every plate. And I will try and bring you guys along with me the next time I cook one of these meals. Um, because so far, so good. Um, we've got two meals left of this kit. And then we're going to move on to the next kit. But this one is... This one's ranking for me. Like, this one might be the one to beat right now. Um, and it was the cheapest overall to get. So, I talked about in my unboxing video, this one, right, like, came in around $1.59, $1.70 a serving. And we got 20 servings of food. So, we've gotten way more food this time. The food is better tasting. The recipes are pretty simple. But also, like, like I said, a little bit more complex and for a little bit more savvy eaters, I would say, like, they have more flavor, they're a little bit more diverse, like, we got some Asian, we got some, um, there was, like, a curry recipe choice, so we've got, like, some Middle Eastern and Asian, um, influences, um, which is great for people like me who aren't really super picky. My only complaint so far with both of the meal delivery kits is that I wish there was a little bit higher, like, I don't, again, I don't want to use the word higher quality because I think all of the ingredients so far have been high quality, especially from every plate. The produce was great. Everything like big carrots, um, clean onions, stuff like that. And they sent fresh garlic versus the other ones have sent like garlic powder. So they actually send like fresh cloves of garlic. Um, but I wish we could get like some salmon or some some shrimp recipes. It's a lot of beef, a lot of pork, and a lot of chicken. So I feel like if you were to do meal delivery kits pretty repetitively and eat them like on a regular basis, it would get a little mundane. And then there is always a vegetarian option too. Like we had the Thai peanut noodles, which was considered our vegetarian option. So there's always that too. But I feel like eating chicken, beef, and pork, like this, in this box alone, we got two beef recipes, and we're not really big beef eaters. Now, I understand that it is what's economical for them to produce and to um, prepare, but like a salmon or a seafood, even if it was like a fried fish or like a crab cake, something, even if it was frozen, would be a little bit, and you can, like, don't get me wrong, you can purchase salmon, like there are recipes with salmon that you can pay, you know, doll, you know, add an additional $4 a serving and you can get salmon or two fifty dollars a serving and you can get shrimp. Um, but it would just be nice to have like one a week, an option for a seafood, um, that doesn't have to cost extra because like frozen shrimp is so, um, now again, like it does, I'm not saying it has to be highest quality market price seafood, but just having a little bit more variety in the meats overall would be preferred for us and our household. But overall, every plate has my vote for the best kit so far. So stay tuned for more. I'm going to take you along next time when I make one of these recipes. Um, so you guys can see how simple they really are and every plate, I would love to have some free stuff. So Send me more boxes and more meals, please. I would be interested in trying breakfast options um, and anything that is grab and go for lunch, I would be really interested in. So I'm going to finish my food and thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you are new here, make sure you hit that red button and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned for more first time subscriber meal delivery kits and all of your options and picking the best one for you and your family um, right here on this channel. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.